everybody video here for you today now I've talked a lot about this part of the world ancient tells ancient mounds that go way back in history of course we have Gobekli Tepe right there Karahan Tepe Sogmatar ancient Haran right there and I have talked about places that have been lost to history along the Euphrates here I have talked about Jerf Elamar that I believe dates back further than Gobekli Tepe a submerged site I have talked about uh, Abu Herrera right down here lost to history evidence that a comet impacted that area about 12,800 years ago would they have known about that at Gobekli Tepe well of course they would have but let's talk about another site that has been lost to history this video is not going to be very long I was watching the hockey game but the Golden Knights are not worth watching tonight so I just thought I'd quickly talk about this the site was submerged I believe about 21 years ago in the late 1990s and it was located right down in this area this is the art newspaper and I haven't done an ancient history news video in quite a while where I cover five ancient history news stories but I thought I'd do an individual story on this tonight like the story yesterday and I will leave a link for that below it says the world's oldest war memorial may have been identified in Syria the white monument at Tel Benat contains the bones of what are believed to be around 30 dead soldiers posed if they fell in battle and here's the site here it says the white monument at Tel Benat Syria before it was submerged and I believe after the dam construction I think this went underwater in about 1999 pyramids and mounds and tepes and tells are found all over the world it seemed the sacred mountain had a lot to do with afterlife beliefs but they say the last part of construction here happened about 4,300 4,400 years ago so how old is the beginning of this construction and what they found underneath here was pretty fascinating here's another story that just came out recently in the last few days and here's a look at this ancient mound lost to history you see the people up there give it some scale and it says an earth mound in what is now Syria maybe the oldest war memorial in the world constructed before 2300 BC the remains of what could be foot soldiers and charioteers were buried in distinct clusters in the monument made of piled up soil however it isn't clear if they belong to the winning or losing side and what the conflict was all about but this place has been lost to history submerged under the Euphrates today but they excavated this place in the 1980s and the 1990s and those finds were re-examined just recently before the flooding here is the way this area looked there was a necropolis there was other ruins there was another mound here in the area but here are some of the ruins mixed in with the current buildings but this whole area was flooded and here is the white monument right there here is another look at the white monument this is all so-called Tel Badant North there was a mound in the southern area of this location also some other ruins but this place is very fascinating totally lost to history underwater today so not much archaeological work is going to get done but this thing was built in three stages and the latest one about 4300 years ago so that very earliest mound how old is that due to flooding they never got in and excavated that this is called the white monument because of the gypsum found in the construction here is kind of a blurry pick but this is very fascinating built in three stages once I got under the latest stage built about 4300 years ago they encountered the corrugated surface and what does that look like well here it is this is phase two a construction of this mound and I don't know if I've ever seen a mound that had a layer construction with ripples or corrugated as they call it I think that is fascinating and what is the purpose of that sometimes these ancient mounds aren't looked at as very important from around the world just because they look like mounds of dirt with grass on them sometimes but this just gives you an indication that you never know what's below the surface that is very fascinating and very unique but here let's just read it says it took its final form at some point between 2450 and 2300 BC when steps were built into the mound sides making it appear like a step pyramid human bones were placed into these steps representing 30 individuals both adults and younger people ranging in age from 8 to 20 egg-shaped slinger pellets used as weapons and skins of donkey-like animals called kunga often used to pull vehicles were also buried in the mound but they had chariot-like things and 
I know at uh, ancient Sogmatar, just southeast to Gobekli Tepe, a 5,000-year-old kid's toy, a chariot was found. Were these people connected to the people at Sogmatar at one time? I wonder. I will leave a few links below if you want to read more about this, but here are a few items found in one of the tomb areas. Unguent and cosmetic containers found here. But this place was re-examined just recently. New stories have just came out. Most of the burials are in the latest constructions. They did not get into the initial construction. So how old is that? That is the big question. How many other burials would they find down in here? Would they find even T-shaped pillars or something that hinted at a much earlier occupation of this site? Well, I wonder. I will leave some links below if you want to look more into this site, but I think it's pretty fascinating. How old is this place? Lost to history because of dam construction and how many times have I uttered that phrase on my channel? But the history here goes back how many years? How many thousands of years? Could go back well into the Neolithic in my opinion, but that is a video on Tel Banat in Syria today. Lost to history in this part of the world. Other sites I have talked about, but that's a video for you this evening. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.